So today we're going to talk about specialty sections, like you see right here. Some of you may have been wondering what these sections are that are red and orange versus the default blue and greens. These specialty sections work pretty much identically to the regular sections. The only difference is, is how the columns get laid out. Whereas this section will have rows with inside of it that are def defined by your columns. And usually a column that is added will span the whole section. This will give you the ability to add all kinds of information over here without affecting what's going on on the side. So let's take a look at how one of those work. Let's go ahead and create a new page. We'll call it test. We'll go ahead and set up the Divi. We'll go ahead and add a specialty section. We're going to go ahead and pick this one for today, but just like working with columns on regular sections, you have the ability to define how all of those are going to lay out. And today we're going to use this one for this default. Everything that's in orange will fill the whole section all the way down, no matter how much of the green modules are in there. It'll fill the whole thing. So uh, let me show you what that looks like. So we'll start here. We'll get rid of this one. So we have our section. We have our row. We have to define how many columns we want in this particular row. For this one, we're going to go with one column. We're going to go ahead and add our module. We'll just do a standard text module. We'll just add in some generic Latin text. Copy and paste that in. We'll go ahead and hit pub publish. We'll take a look at the page. So we have a simple section with one row with one column and this is our specialty column over here. We'll, we'll define that now. Let's go ahead and tell the column what we want. So we're going to go ahead. This one is a direct module, so we'll go straight to the modules. For the demonstration, we'll do text. We'll add in more text than what we had. And we'll go ahead and update that. You'll see that that text spans. You can put whatever kind of module over there that you want, and you can even stack them. You can put text and image and so on. So let's go ahead and break this down a little bit more. So in this one, we're going to go ahead and add another row. And we're going to make it a two column. We're going to add in a little bit of text. We'll go get some more Latin text over here. We'll make this small. Then we'll add in an image. And let's take a look at what that looks like. So we've got our, this is our specialty column over here, which is right here which is spanning the whole section. And then we have, we're breaking these out into individual pieces. Let's go down to the next one. We'll add another row. We'll make this one three. We'll do a text. Let's see, what do we want to put in here? We'll put in another image. You can put any module in here that you want. And some more text. So you kind of get the idea of how this is working. Now it fills that section out. So now, this is spanning the whole area. So what do we want to do with this? There's all kinds of things we can do with this. You can put text, you can put search bar, you can put a sidebar. Let's, let's put a sidebar. Let's put in the normal WordPress sidebar. So let's take out that text. Let's add the sidebar module. 
So here's the sidebar. Save OK. Hit update. Now you have the sidebar module over here with searching and categories and, and all your archives and stuff. And, and that can be adjusted as far as your widgets are concerned. You can update what's over here by adding these widgets into here. You can remove them. If you don't want recent comments in here, you can just take out recent comments by hitting delete. And you can also create your own sidebars over here. And you can put in all this kind of stuff that you want. Sidebars are a different video. But you can add a sidebar. Um, other things you can do is you can use a sidebar for maybe you want to put all your Facebook stuff in there. So we've got Facebook code right here. We'll go ahead and copy that. And we'll delete the sidebar and we'll add in the Facebook code. So we'll come over to code and you can put in your short code for your Facebook feed. We'll add that up. So now you have your Facebook feed over here on the side and you can customize that however you want. We can add a little bit more to the top here by inserting another module. Let's go ahead and just put in, say, some basic text. And let's put in a, just a little blurb. Maybe you want to talk about uh, who you are and what this Facebook feed is doing. So we'll grab that, we'll type it in. a header and as you'll see it added it to the bottom so we'll just take this we'll drag it to the top hit update this works just like your normal regular modules work. So now we have it up at the top. We have this information. Everything looks pretty good. So you can leave this as a complete sidebar if you want so that it, it spans the whole page. And anytime that you would want to add more copy to the page, you would just add it into the specialty section. But if you wanted to trim this up and just use that on this area here, then what you could do is let's get rid of the text. Take a look at what we have. Okay, so we can put a little another module in right here to fill that space. So we'll come down, add another row. We'll leave it full. Add a text module down there. See what that looks like. So we can keep just the two paragraphs and we'll be pretty good there. Come back. We'll leave it right about here. Alright, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add below everything. We're going to add a, another section that will cover from left to right including the specialty and that is just going to be a standard section that looks just like this. We'll go ahead and add a divider so you guys can see what it looks like. And then we'll add in a text module. We'll hit update. So if you want it to span the, the whole page, you can. If you want it to span just that whole section, you can. This specialty column is just going to span that whole section, but you can make it the whole page. So now you have some more tools available to you to lay out your content in a better format and get it exactly the way you want it.